Finally, Battlefield Mobile has been announced and here is all you need to know. I'm Rachel Raj, you're watching Simply Techie and let's get started. The Battlefield Mobile is a game long awaited by fans. It is first mentioned by DICE in April 2021 and in August 2021 the game appeared on Google Play. Battlefield Mobile is due to launch in 2022. That is the date outlined by DICE when the game was first announced and subsequently confirmed when the playtests were available. There will be limited access to the game before the launch starting with a limited game test in Indonesia and the Philippines. There will also be an opportunity to pre-register for the game but that option has not yet appeared. Battlefield Mobile will be a free to play game. There will be no cost involved but will have a range of in-app purchases. EA Mobile has confirmed that these will be cosmetic items rather than pay to win. Exactly what you will be able to buy hasn't been confirmed but we can expect characters and weapon skins in Battle Pass system like in Call of Duty Mobile. Battlefield Mobile has been confirmed for both Android and iOS. This is a bespoke mobile game so there is no crossover with PC or console versions of the game. The playtests have confirmed an Android 7 or higher requirement although this might not be the case for the final version of the game. As playtests are not currently planned for iOS, there is no information on what version of iOS you need. Judging by the release gameplay photos, playing it on a device having more than 6GB RAM is highly recommended as having to process a lot of game details and run smoothly. Talking about the gameplay modes, so far Conquest has been confirmed. Conquest is a classic Battlefield multiplayer game based on around 10 territory domination. The gameplay configuration is likely to become more widely known as we approach launch. We are expecting a number of different game modes, with mention of multiplayer and objective included in the details of the Google Play listing. We get the impression that there will be new gameplay modes specific for mobile play, as well as family options found in the existing version of the game. The Google Play listing also talks about character classes including Assault, Support, Medic and Recon, which will govern how the game plays. It has been confirmed that the Grand Bazaar map will be available in Battlefield Mobile. Beyond that, from the Google Play listing, there are references to multiple maps, saying maps and modes both new and familiar to veteran players, so we can expect there to be content unique to Battlefield Mobile as well as ported from the existing versions of the game. There is going to be a lot of customization with the Google Play listing saying the best customization to date, so we are expecting a load of skins. One of the screen provides some weapon details, F2000, P226, Frag, SMAW are all listed in the loadout of character and it looks like characters will have multiple loadouts as per Call of Duty Mobile. More interesting is that it looks like Battlefield Mobile will have a full range of vehicles to use. There is mention of battling across land, sea and air while tanks are mentioned a number of times appearing in images as well as ATVs. One of the things that Battlefield was originally known for was the destruction of the environment. The Google Play listing refers to burying your enemies under the rubble of buildings, suggesting that the gameplay areas will be more destructible than many other. Destroy the field of battle with large scale environmental destruction suggests that this is going to be a major feature of the game. This is one of the reasons why I said having more than 6 GP of RAM will be effective at rendering the game. That is all you need to know. Comment down what you expect from Battlefield Mobile. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you soon.